one of the finest, oldest section of Mexico City, built by the ancient Aztec people. And then when the protest comes to the place, everybody was here, and their bodies, he said, were all up in different parts of the city. Bonitas horas de llegar. Te estaba esperando toda la noche, hombre. ¿Qué te pasó? ¿Por qué no avisas? No, just stand there. Give me a light. Shut up. I'm going to call the doctor. Ay, Pablito, you'll be the death of me yet. Why do you do these things? Bueno, don Esteban, soy Romeo. Hágame el favor de venir inmediatamente. Es importante. Ya le contaré. Ande, déjelo encuerado y venga. You crazy fool. Who do you think you are? A cat with nine lives? Juan Pablito, next time you won't be so lucky. You're a doll, Doc. Feel like talking? Sure, it only hurts when I laugh. Okay. Well, let's see. It was uh, yesterday about this time that she came in here. About 4.30. Yeah. This is a late spot. There weren't any customers. It's a funny thing. When I came here to Mexico after the war, I thought I'd left all the rough stuff behind. So when Romeo and I bought the green peacock, I was all set for a leisurely life of innkeeping. It hasn't worked out that way. Guess I'm like the retired matador who can't resist fighting just one more bull. It isn't that I look for trouble, it just seems to find me. And yesterday was no exception. Yes. Tequila. With a beer chase. And I'd like to buy the gentleman a drink, too. He doesn't accept presents from strange women. Do I pass inspection? I'll let you know when I see what you're going to do with those. I like your style. Do we have a name? Sarah Gordon. Uh huh. How about Hope Corsica? Why aren't you at your husband's funeral? Please, I've got to talk to you privately. Got a peso? Amigo, I need a bottle upstairs. Pronto. Esto me huele mal. Falta que te pague bien. Where are we going? You wanted to be private. I wanted to find out more about her and the murder of her husband, Vic Corsica. I had a feeling this was going to cost me more than a bottle of tequila. Did you 
kill your husband? No, I didn't. Who sent you? Romeo's cousin. Why did you marry Costa in the first place? Because I wanted the right clothes on my back. And a bed with clean sheets every night. Sounds reasonable. And I imagine that diamond ring wasn't too hard to take, either. Well, your husband was uh, burning to death in that 12-room cottage of yours. Where were you? In a plane on my way here. I thought Vic never let you out of his sight. How did that happen? I couldn't understand it either. He gave me some money and an airline ticket and said, you're leaving tonight for Acapulco. That must have been just before it happened. Mm -hmm. Any idea why he did that? I think he wanted me out of the way. That he was going to have a big showdown with Frank. They've been fighting worse than ever. Well, I always thought the Corsica brothers were like the Siamese twins. That's what Vic wanted everybody to think. But they hated each other. Frank was always jealous of Vic. And since the government was threatening to move in on them, Frank thought he could juggle things around so Vic would be the only one they could touch. Whatever happened to brotherly love? You're supposed to be in Acapulco. What are you doing here? When I got off the plane in Mexico City, I... I read about Vic's death and that they were looking for me. I got panicky. I found this little hotel. A Pastel Norte. Yes. I was afraid to go out. And the manager... Romeo's cousin. Yes. He saw that I was in trouble, and he sent me here to you. Don't you see, Mace? I do want to go back and tell them whatever I can. But whoever killed Vic will try to see to it that I never get there alive. And you want me to see that you do? Yes. Sounds reasonable. Yes, Pablito, what is it? Uh, Romeo, call San Antonio for me, will you? Yeah. Uh, capital 21441. That's the FBI. Yeah, get Jerry Donovan. Yes, okay, okay, Pablito. I'll be back. Don't open the door for anybody but me. I'd read about it in the local papers. I'd heard her version. Now I thought I'd see what New York had to say. Hi, me. <laughs> When's Tardis? Oh, when are we going dancing? When I get my strength back, Carmen. You got my New York paper? Oh, gee, I'm so sorry. It's so late. I thought that you didn't want it. Uh, look, I just saw that it is Mr. Hi. Hi. I got your paper all, buddy? Yeah, I guess you have. <laughs> What's your name? What's yours? Ollie Feather. Holy feather. What did you do that for? <laughs> hey, have a walnut. No, thanks. Look what happened to you. <laughs> hey, hey, you're an American. You seen a real classy dame, blonde, dressed like crazy, big mink coat, white slacks, got everything, every place. You've lost such a dame? Yeah, a couple hours ago. I wow, that's rough. Well, bye. <laughs> hey, he's a great kidder, huh? Oh, yes. You said it. He's always kidding. You know, that girl that you were talking about with the mink? She's upstairs in his room. You don't say. It's me. Who's somebody six foot four, small eyes, broken front teeth? Ollie. Is he here? Definitely, and he's looking for you. He was Vic's bodyguard. Maybe he thinks I had something to do with his murder. Maybe he does. He's looking for that coat, too. You better leave it here. I hate to give it up, but I can always get another mink, can't I? I should imagine so, one way or another. Yeah? Fine, put him on. Hello, Jerry. Paul Mace. I've got somebody here I think you might be interested in. Hope Corsica. Yeah, I thought you would be. Sure, I'll hang on. The slacks have got to go, too. I think you'll find something else in there. Where did you get this? Think, uh, Romeo's grandmother left it. Hello. Yeah? Grover Dickerson. Yeah, uh-huh. When's he going to be here? Yeah. 
All right, well, why doesn't he meet us here at the Green Peacock? You know, the street of many eyes. Okay, Jerry. Yeah, Grover Dixon. Right. Bye. <clears throat> the elegant Victor Corsica, acknowledged gambling czar of his day, counted among his possessions the gigantic Castle Alcazar south of Mexico City. He owned that, did he? I was there once. Know when? When? My wedding day. That must have been jolly. I, I hated it, so we left the next day. You better get a size 10. I'll have your language, kid. Oh, this is a power verde, no? Hey, did you say senior mace? Si, senor mace. Oh, senor mace. 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 Senor Corsica was deaf. A hearing aid was concealed in the rims of the tortoiseshell glasses he wore. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mr. Dickerson is here. Do you want him to come up? Has he got the car there? Yes, already. Fine, we'll be right down. Let's go. We'll use my private entrance. Mr. Mace. Grover Dickinson. Hi, Mr. Corsica. I've chartered a plane at Cholula. Well, that's fine. You got any lead on who killed Vic Corsica? Well, his brother Frank skipped town. That seems to add up. Mm -hmm. You stay with me till we get aboard? Sure, I got a contract. Let's go. Ah, this way. See you later, Pablito. Don't wait up for me. being followed. Cover me, Mason.
Well, hi, old buddy. How you feeling? I feel fine. Good. You needed your rest. Yeah. Whether I need it or not, I got it. <laughs> I like you, Mace. I like your kind of a guy. Yeah. I can tell that. Hey. That was a real dirty trick I pulled on you, huh? No hard feelings. Which dirty trick? I swiped your telegram. The one from that guy from the FBI, called Grover Dickerson. Said he had to take another plane. Said he wouldn't see you until later. So I sent this pal of mine. I there. underestimated you, Ollie. I thought you just used your head to crack walnuts with. Oh, buddy. Go to sleep, buddy. I brought mates. How you been? Did you have a nice trip? Boss, put your glasses on. <laughs> this is Mace. He's the guy that... Yeah, I've just been hearing about Mr. Mace. Good heavens, man. You're not looking at all well. It's funny, I've been getting plenty of exercise. <laughs> He's always making us laugh. <laughs> well, how do you like our castle? I'd like it better without him. My brother never liked it much either. I was the only one in the family who did. I lost my brother recently. So I've heard it was the only thing to do. Do you remember the Corsican brothers? The one brother always felt so deeply, inseparably attached to the other. Well, I never felt anything for my brother. He was a nuisance. Huh. The Corsica brothers. Now there's only one left. And soon he too will disappear. How? I'm going to an island that I own in the Mediterranean. Near Corsica. Napoleon ended up on an island too, didn't he? Yes. I loved the sound of the ocean pounding on the rocks. I could listen to it by the hour. What's gonna happen if you break your glasses? You really do know who I am, don't you? It wasn't hard. You ready to see Holt now? She's outside. Yes, Holly. Frank? Frank, you know I wouldn't cause you any trouble. I... That's right, darling. You're not going to cause any trouble. It was Frank they found burned in the house. Well, here we all are together again. I always promised you a second honeymoon, remember? Of course, this will be a short one, only a few minutes, actually. Then I'm leaving this part of the world. Now, we'll drop you two off somewhere along the way. Okay, folks, we're off now. Come on, buddy. Make me. Oh, now, buddy. You ain't in no shape to argue on your... Unexpected development. I don't carry a gun. Do you want Hope to search me? Keep away from him. Really, Mr. Mace, this delay can be a serious inconvenience to me. Now, what is it you want? Cash? I have a great deal with me. 
We can settle the amount and then we can all go our separate ways. I don't think so. Why well, not speaking of a piddling amount, $10,000 here. And if that isn't enough. That's the whole enchilada. I turned her over to police headquarters here, now she's all yours. It'll heal up nicely if you take care of it. Gracias, amigo. Just put it on our bill. <laughs> what happened to the other Grover Dickerson? Picked him up at the airport. Thanks, Mace. Certainly appreciate what you've done. Nothing at all. I should have been a Boy Scout. I just came back for the mink. Yeah. You might have some cold nights. Think of me sometimes. I'm so glad you are home. 